Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to work with conditions in Oxygen. Conditions allow you to control whether an element is shown based on some other factor. As a common example, you might have an element that should only be visible to people who are logged into your site. With conditions, you can do that. You can also control the visibility of an element based on other factors like a post ID, post name, post type, or taxonomy. And it's important to note that conditions doesn't only control the visibility of an element in oxygen, but if a condition applied to an element evaluates to false, that element isn't even output in the HTML of the page. To show you how to work with conditions, let's go ahead and jump into the back end and start going over some of the options that are available. So we'll go to Oxygen, Templates, and today we'll be working in a single post template. Click Edit with Oxygen. Now, before we get started, it's important to note that you can set conditions on any element in Oxygen. To do that, you simply click the element, and in the Properties pane, click the Conditions icon. Now you'll see the conditions menu. And we have a few controls. Set conditions will launch a modal where you can set the conditions that apply to the element. Condition type allows you to set how the condition stack for that element is evaluated. And, which is the default, means that all the conditions applied to the element must evaluate to true in order for the element to be shown. Or, on the other hand, means that only one condition applied to the element must evaluate to true for that element to be shown. The in editor behavior options allow you to control how an element is shown and how the element's conditions are previewed. Always show means the element will always be shown. Always hide is a good way to preview what your design looks like if the element's conditions evaluate to false. And show slash hide based on conditions will show or hide the element based on how the conditions evaluate. For this example, we'll use Always Show. Now let's jump into Set Conditions. And we'll click Add Your First Condition. And we have three fields. The left field is where you choose the actual condition. We have 26 conditions built into Oxygen. We have an Archive category, which lets you show an element based on the number of posts in the archive the post type of the archive, or the taxonomy term of the archive. The author category allows you to show an element based on the author's name. Under the other heading, we have a date condition, a time condition, a day of the week condition, a day of month condition. These all allow you to show elements based on time. So you could have a Monday special on your site that's only shown on Mondays. Or you could have an element that is shown between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Combining these conditions really gives you a lot of power. Next we have the cookie list condition. This allows us to check the browser's cookie list to see if it contains or does not contain a specific cookie. This lets you do things like use PHP on a specific page to set a cookie and then show an element only to users who have been to that page and therefore have that cookie set in their browser. Session variables are similar but are a PHP function which can be used to set persistent values during a PHP session. And dynamic data allows you to choose data from our dynamic data dialog with which you want to compare some other value. Now we have the post category. We can show an element based on the post's ID the post parent ID, post title, whether the post has a featured image, the comment count of the post, whether the post has an excerpt, whether the post's content is empty, the post category, the post tag, or the post status. Finally, we have the user category. And here's user logged in. That's a popular one. This lets us show elements based on whether a user's logged in or not. User ID, username, user role, which is very useful for membership type sites if you're registering a custom role for people who have purchased a membership. And user can, which again is useful for restricting user access to specific things because it's all based on WordPress capabilities. 
For this example, we're going to jump up to post has featured image. Now, for each condition, the operators, which is what this middle field is for, may be different. So for post has featured image, we have an equals or does not equal, which is the exclamation with an equal sign. If we wanted to check whether the post has a featured image, and we only want to show this element, if that is true, we would say equals, and then we go over to the right hand drop down, which is the value we're evaluating against, and we would choose true. So now this element will only ever be shown if the post it's on has a featured image. And I'll show you how that looks. So we'll save this, and then let's jump back to our website on the front end. And you can see here that we have a featured image shown at the top of our post. But if we go to the front of our site and go to a post that doesn't have a featured image, you'll see that the whole div where the featured image normally would be shown is hidden. And that's because we selected that div and set the condition on it so that it would only be shown if there's a featured image. And that's how easy it is to set up a condition in Oxygen. Now let's take a look at some of the other conditions. Let's click our condition icon, click set conditions, and we're going to add another condition. Now again, because we have and chosen as the condition type, both of these conditions must be true in order for this element to be shown. So let's choose a different condition like post comment count. Now for this condition, we have several other operators. We have equals, does not equal, greater than or equals to, less than or equal to, greater than and less than. Let's choose does not equal. And then for this condition, we can type in a custom value or we can choose a value using our dynamic data dialog. This allows you to have a lot of power by combining conditions with dynamic data from WordPress. So let's go back and we'll just type in something like 100. So now, if the post has a featured image and the post comment count does not equal 100 exactly, this element will be shown. Now if we go back and choose the OR condition type and then jump back in and set conditions, only one of these needs to match the value that we've chosen. So either the post has to have a featured image or the post comment count does not equal 100 and the element will be shown. Finally, I also want to mention that we do have an API that allows you to register your own condition. So if the built-in conditions don't meet your needs, you can use code snippets or a custom plugin to register your very own conditions for use in Oxygen. And you can find full documentation for the API on oxygenbuilder.com slash documentation. So that's how to work with conditions in Oxygen. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you for watching.